Hi, this is Elijah Stewart, psychic medium and root worker out of Lansing, Michigan. And today I wanted to share uh, my um, uh, three ingredient money drawing bath ball recipe. Um, so what you're going to need uh, for this are uh, three money drawing herbs um, and that are safe to use in, in uh, on your skin uh, and a piece of cloth muslin or cotton works really well I have a plain white uh, handkerchief that I got from a craft store here a while back um, uh, that I thought I'd use and you'll need some string for binding it so uh, first let's take a look at the three herbs I wanted to um, put into the bath ball today um, I'm going to start with uh, chamomile um, Chamomile has a long history of being used for uh, money drawing uh, hand washes, uh, specifically for gambling, but uh, also for more general uh, money drawing um, uh, as well. Um, then we're going to add a little calendula. Um, calendula uh, has also a long history of being used as, uh, in herbal washes for money drawing, um, and uh, also, if I'm remembering correctly, is used a lot in court case um, uh, washes as well. And uh, today, I, I choose my third ingredient depending on who I'm making uh, making the um, bath ball for. Uh, a lot of times, I will use a little bit of cinnamon. Um, uh, cinnamon bark, not the ground powder. You can kind of see here... Um, uh, it's big enough to not uh, come through the weave in, in muslin or um, uh, most cotton. Uh, maybe cheesecloth, but uh, I have not yet tried to make a bath ball out of cheesecloth. Um, cinnamon is going to be used more frequently for uh, business owners because cinnamon um, is a has a strong affinity for uh, attracting new business. Now, cinnamon can be used also just for general money drawing and is frequently used in a lot of money drawing um, herbal recipes uh, and mojo hands and such. Um, but uh, I found that for washes, I really like uh, cinnamon to increase business. Um, uh, that's not going to be the one that I'm using today. Um, I'm going to be using mint um, as my third ingredient because I'm making this for me. Mint, uh, all of the mint family is used very frequently for money drawing purposes uh, in hoodoo. Um, I, I have a preference for spearmint for myself, I just like the smell better, but peppermint uh, is also um, frequently used. Um, I am choosing mint for my own bath ball today because mints are, uh, in addition to being money drawing, they also enhance intuitive abilities. Um, and Seeing as how I work as a psychic medium, I'm, I'm going to lean more towards that. I have a stronger affinity for spearmint than cinnamon. Could you use both in the wash? Absolutely. Why don't I? I don't like the way they smell together. Um, in traditional hoodoo, uh, we, when we're adding ingredients, uh, we keep the number of ingredients to an odd number, which is why we're using a three-ingredient uh, uh, bath today. Um, and I'm just sprinkling out some of the calendula on, um, onto the hanky. Um, uh, add some of the chamomile here. And I'm just going to do two good scoops of chamomile. And you can see that this is very, very golden in color so far. And um, gold is definitely a good color when we're uh, looking for uh, money drawing. Uh, now I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of spearmint on there. And I love the way that the smells of the spearmint, the calendula, and the uh, chamomile all come together. Um, it makes it a, a wonderful bathing experience. Uh, so, then all you do is... First fold the corners in and then take the other corners um, or you can if you like a little longer handle you can also uh, leave those untucked 
and then it's just a matter of tying it down. Now, the other wonderful thing about um, all the ingredients that we have here, uh, chamomile and, uh, is, is very well known for its soothing properties, um, and uh, actually is a wonderful, um, a wonderful soother for the skin. Uh, calendula it has the same property, and this is called the vulnerary property in herbalism. Um, it's very, very soothing to irritated skin, and pretty much any bath I put together in the winter, I add calendula to uh, just to soothe that dry winter skin. And spearmint is um, wonderfully invigorating uh, and kind of leaves you feeling clean. Um, I like the, the sort of menthol tingle that comes along uh, with a little bit of spearmint in there. Um, simply to kind of recap, uh, to, to drive the point home that this is a bath. Um, so, now normally I would spend a great deal more care and time uh, crafting the, uh, the way that the ball comes together, but uh, seeing as how I'm chatting with you, I'm just going to, to kind of go good enough, um, because we have a nice little demonstrative piece here. Um, I have just enough Virgo in my chart for the, the lack of roundness to it to bother me, but we're going to go with it for the day. So this is a little um, herbal compress ball that uh, you can dip in uh, hot water and uh, use run over your skin as a bath. Um, since this is a money drawing bath, uh, what I would do is um, uh, have hot water after I've showered. Um, uh, I would have hot water uh, maybe run in the sink uh, and have this resting in, in the water uh, in the sink. So when I step out of the shower, I can then just grab the ball and then um, you're going to uh, want to say your prayers uh, for money drawing as you um, run the the compress over your skin and you want to start from uh, the feet and work your way up uh, since you're trying to draw money to you. Um, conversely, if you were trying to get rid of something, uh, say this was an uncrossing blend or um, a, a spiritual cleansing bath, then you would start from the head and work your way down. Um, I personally find that using the compress ball uh, it helps me stay a little more focused on my prayers because I'm not trying to, to cup water and splash it over me. Um, I, I've also had fewer instances of um, introducing more tingly herbals to parts of my body I don't want tingly herbals on uh, when I'm using a um, uh, a compress ball, and that might just be my own uh, uh, awareness of it, but that does seem to at least help me. Um, I put camphor in far too many places uh, uh, to to really have an excuse anymore. <laughs> I've done it enough times. Um, now, after a, what's traditionally done after you do a, a bath. Um, Frequently, uh, if it's an uncrossing bath or a cleansing, a spiritual cleansing bath of some sort, um, it, you would carry the, the wash water out and toss it towards the rising sun. Um, with the compress balls, um, I, when I do them for something that I'm drawing uh, to myself, such as a money drawing, um, I'll use this for probably three days in a row, and then on the third day, um, I make sure that I'm, I'm doing this before the sun rises, and I'll take it and um, throw the herbs towards the rising sun, uh, just to kind of keep with tradition. But um, you can get a good uh, three uses out of a um, out of a, an herbal compress ball here. Um, so this is how I do my uh, money drawing herbal bath ball. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a shot. It really does uh, smell wonderful and it really does bring about a wonderful money drawing effect. Many blessings to you all.